welcome everyone to my channel. I'm Greg Scott Bailey and this is my review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now I'm going to jump right into it and say that I give it an 8.5. Now 8.5 on my scale though, you know, if I do a 1 to 10 scale, maybe a 5 or a 6 is a casual movie that you see, thought was okay. If it's on, uh, you know, TBS or Fox, you know, and you're laying lazily on a Saturday afternoon and you don't really want to change the channel, that's a 5 or a 6 to me. It's watchable, something that's okay. 8.5, however, man, you're talking about fun, adventure, excitement, you know, you're enjoying yourself, you're having a good time, and you're wanting to see it again at least multiple times. So, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, I do give a 8.5. The, the first Guardians, I gave a 9.0. Now, some might say that that drop from 9 to 8.5 is, you know, whoa, what's wrong with it? Nothing really wrong with it. Nothing hugely bad about the movie. Hugely. That's a good word. It lends itself more towards character development and goes a little bit away from the action. You do start out with some action at the beginning, which is good. It's fun. And it gets you engaged and it sets all the characters in their places for this next movie. However, this next movie does have a lot more character development moments. And in all honesty, with a sequel, especially a sequel after Guardians 1, I want to see more character development. I want to see where these characters are going, what they're all about, and what they're going to do. We get uh, a little bit of insight to Peter Quill's history and past. Uh, you've seen it in the trailers. I'm not really spoiling anything here, but Peter gets to meet his father. So we get a really wonderful portrayal of that character by Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell did a wonderful job. I mean, we already know that he is a top-notch actor and he's got a lot of credits and credentials, but the comic book movies still sometimes have that, that little stereotype that, uh, that it's nothing really serious to get into, and Marvel keeps just knocking it out of the park with the opposite effect of that fact, and Kurt Russell just knocks it out of the park. His character is amazing. Uh, I, I would love to see him in an, another comic book movie of this nature. So we also get introduced to uh, Palm Klementoff. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. Uh, she plays Mantis. Uh, Mantis is a character that uh, we get to meet along with Kurt Russell's character, Ego. And uh, we also get introduced to a couple more characters that I'm not really going to spoil on this review, but they may or may not set up some more Marvel Cinematic Movie adventures down the road. Um, I would say if anybody watches this movie, as always, with every Marvel movie, stay till the end credits, and not just stay till a credit cutscene. Stay until you see that little, like, little symbol that goes up or whatever, and all the credits are done and everything complete and over with. Five after-scene credits. One immediate scene credit. You have three mid credit scenes and but uh, yeah one last uh, um end credit scene all of them are delightful they're wonderful and they can all somewhat set some more things in motion for the future of the marvel uh uni the universe uh, the galactic uh space adventure universe uh cinematic universe what, what I liked, I think, most about this movie, uh, I have to go back to the characters, I have to go back to the development of how everybody got a chance to shine a little bit more and embrace their characters a little bit more. Um, let's see, what I didn't like, um, it, it's hard to really pinpoint that because it's, it's not that I didn't like anything, like I saw something in the movie and I heard something in the movie and I was like, I didn't like that. I'm not that kind of a movie watcher. For me, uh, if I don't like a movie, if there's something I just absolutely cannot stand, I move on to the next movie and you probably never hear me talk about it, uh, which is few and far between. I enjoy movies. But for me, uh, I would say it's more like, what would I do? And I'm going to be doing uh, movie reviews and what would I do later for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I just wanted to put out a really quick here. I just wanted to put out a really quick video so that I can get something out and start up my movie reviews for this channel. So, um, yeah, recapping, uh, I give it an 8.5 out of 10, and I had a lot of fun. I, again, I watched it two times now. I'm going to watch it at least another two times before it's out of the theaters, and I'm definitely going to own it at home. 
so I'd say Marvel at this point is 15 for 15. 15 movies. Holy crap. Um, they're doing wonderful. And I look forward to Thor Ragnarok here this fall. And, um, man, I'm just, I'm ecstatic. So thanks everybody for stopping by the channel, watching my review. If you like what I'm doing, click the thumbs up below. Also hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside the subscribe button. That'll get, that'll let you have notifications uh, anytime that I like upload my videos and stuff. Uh, I want to remind you that I don't just do movie reviews. I'm also going to be doing TV show reviews, trailer reviews, trailer reaction videos once in a while. Mostly probably for the comic book movies. I am doing uh, video gameplay for Overwatch. I'm going to be doing a Left 4 Dead, Half-Life, and Rocket League set of videos here for the rest of the month. So everybody that comes along and enjoys my stuff, I really appreciate you hitting subscribe on this channel. We are building things up here, and I'm having so much fun doing it. But most importantly, all this is building it up so that I can also do my artwork and my entertainment on videos. So thanks again for stopping by. Once again, I'm Greg Scott Bailey. And as always, we'll see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.